Hello and welcome to the most vast stadium in Andalusia, the Estadio Benito Villamarín here in Seville. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Real Betis taking on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Nacho Fernandez plays with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Toni Kroos starts alongside Federico Valverde in central midfield. Must be! Oh, brilliant goalkeeping! Juan Mi. Karim Benzema, who's played at such oh, a Oh, he high. could be in here, Derek. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. Good-looking ball. There could be a chance now. He just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Edgar. Rodriguez. The ball back with Real now. Can they forge ahead? And fired against the crossbar. Takes the shot. There it is. And just the ideal start. Well, just look at this. He gives the goalkeeper no chance there. That's just gone in off the crossbar. That's a very good finish. And they're playing once more. Real Madrid with the lead here. Federico Valverde a very timely interception might really be able to trouble them here oh beating his opponent with ease he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge Sabali. And able to get a body in the way. And Betty's come away with it. And continues his run. Timely intervention. Rudiger. It comes to nothing in the end. Oh, offside. How marginal was that? But the flag is raised. William Carvalho, Juan Mi. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Options in the middle. And a very good challenge. This is looking threatening. It's still alive. Deflected behind. Corner forthcoming. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly think so. Let's see about the delivery. Well, it was never really going to be of concern to the keeper, that one. 
Well, there you can see Real Madrid haven't been able to control possession, but when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. And the threat on the counter-attack is very real. Here they come again. And a fine cross. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved a goal. Committed challenge. Nacho Fernandez. Karim Benzema. Who can he pick out? Course. No, high quality defending. So a throw in for Real Madrid. And he has options available. Tony Cross. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. So almost at the break here. And not quite going to plan for the home side. Work to do, Stuart. Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Dealt with easily by Courtois. Tony Kors. Benzema. Real chance. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Real pushing to add to the lead. It's a corner. Well, racing past his man. Well, the keeper had to concentrate. Well, increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. The corner kicks keep on coming. Short corner taken. Course. And blocked for now. Well, there it is, half-time, and that closes the book on the first half here at the Estadio Benito Villamarín. Well, it is advantage Real after the first 45 minutes, but there's a long way from being settled. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Decided to come in from the flank. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Good tackle. Now options are plenty. And they could face difficulties here. Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Well, Betis have it back now. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Very Stuart. Big moment, this. A lovely attempt. You can't argue with that finish. Well, as you can see here, it all starts with a perfectly weighted ball in behind the defenders. And the finish showed great composure. Just to lift it over the goalkeeper. That's a lovely goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. showing excellent vision well it looked like a good ball but cut out in the end Tony Kors Aurelien Chouameni 
Real find themselves in a position of menace. And the ball's gone. Thirty minutes left for play. Opportunity in the wide area. Canales! Well, it might still work out for them. And there it is! A goal! I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper is very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to the attacker, and the finish is excellent. Well, underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Space for Real out wide. Can he find the net? Tremendous block. Rui Bal. Beautifully disguised ball. Has a go. And the keeper there to deal with it. Yet another tremendous save to add to the list. Rodrigo. This attack looks highly promising. Can he take the chance? A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, it's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Into the final 20 minutes. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. to attack from the wide areas and the danger still on now counter attacking possibilities here not the pass he had in mind he's going forward with authority here Benzema oh commanding goalkeeping <laughs> playing it short course a goal it is, courtesy of Tony Kroos. Well, just look at this. That was so close to coming back into play, but it doesn't matter, they all count. So the action continues and Real very much bossing the proceedings. Canales. So the final whistle almost upon us and this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, they just never got going. People will point fingers towards the centre-backs and keeper and to be fair, they've been poor, no doubt about that but they haven't had much protection. There's been so much space for their opponents to operate in, and they've had a field day. The final whistle can't come soon enough. Cross fired over. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. A strong hand on the ball. Federico Valverde. And now Rodrigo. A chance maybe from the wide position. Course. Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, these fans are starting to leave here. There's just no chance of a comeback now. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Course. Disappointing pass. Tony Cross. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, as the replay shows, that's gone in off the post. His heart must have been in his mouth there. It's a good finish in the end. Man, 
It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Nicely timed tackle. Vinicius Junior. And he's through here. A mischievous effort. And that's the hat trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And just look at the finish. That's a brilliant piece of skill and vision to chip the goalkeeper from there. What a great goal. So they restart the game and only one team in it. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Vinicius Junior. Well, far from the ideal pass. And that is that, the end of the game. It goes into the books as a win for Real Madrid. What did you think of their overall performance? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening and they played really well. What a performance that was today.